Good evening, everybody. Tomorrow afternoon, Davis County will face North Polk Alleman in state semifinal baseball action. The first pitch is scheduled for 2 o'clock at Principal Park. Both teams have a combined 72-5 record. They both have great starting pitching. Calvin Matthews of Davis County is 12-0, while his opponent, Jacob Hadaway, hasn't given up an earned run all year. For Davis County, this will be the best team they have faced. Very quality ball team. They wouldn't have won, wouldn't have won 30 games without uh, having a strong pitching staff and uh, very aggressive on the bases. Um, I guess one of our plans will be trying to hopefully keep them off the base, so that's not an issue. Enough about the other team. What about the Mustangs? I tried to get after them. We've got after them pretty good the last couple days and uh, not anything major. I think a lot of our stuff that we're just not quite get the timing down the other night and uh, hopefully uh, our kids will bring their A game on uh, Thursday and, and get back to hitting the ball on a consistent basis. Johnny Mangana will be at the game tomorrow. We'll have highlights 6 and 10. The Crooks Hill baseball camp moved outside today. The players and coaches were at North Park bright and early. They went over throwing and fielding as they rotated from five different skill stations. So after three days, what have the guys learned? We've done batting. We've bunted, uh, hitting fundamentals. And today we're going to do some fielding defensive work. I've learned to bunt and sacrifice bunt, and today we're going to learn how to field properly. Great barbecue, great music, and great football are all coming to Truman State on September the 8th. It's the first Smoke at Stokes Barbecue and Blues. I think it's going to be a unique environment. Um, we're trying to get alumni, uh, Truman parents, uh, Truman students, and the Kirksville community together really to have a party before our home opener. In high school football, the Knox County football camp is in its third day. There are no secrets on what the Eagles want to do. It's pretty simple. Get better every day. We have some kids here that are just wanting to get better, and we'll take the kids that want to get better, and um, those are the ones that will probably be out there on Friday nights uh, trying to win a game for us. The Albia football team will reload again this year. The Blue Demons were 7-3 and three last year, and their sophomores were 8-0. Well, when the program is right, uh, tradition doesn't graduate. You just bring on a new group, and they uh, have been waiting in the wings for their opportunity. And uh, if you coordinate the program from the youth program up through the senior year,